Oh my God. Fellas, I don't know, I don't know if y'all know this, there's an epidemic going on in our country right now. Older women are snatching up young dudes left and right. Yeah, yeah. lost my homeboy two days ago, it was crazy. It's crazy, man. Older women know how to get you, man. Be careful, fellas, be careful about these older women because they will run you down. They got a new breed of older women now. They real fast, they got four two speed. You can't get to your car quick enough. They will shut your ass down in the parking lot. <laughs> and I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I got picked up by a grown woman. If it can happen to me, it can happen to anybody. A grown woman tried to pick me up. But the thing about it, she had a grown name, Phyllis. <laughs> well, they don't even make Phyllis no more. When the last time you heard somebody named Phyllis? You gotta go to a museum, she in a glass case. <laughs> That's how old Phyllis is. And I figured it out, man. I figured out how grown women get young dudes. They got game. You gotta understand, grown women are the real players because they got tricks and smooth shit. Give it up if you grown and you know it. <laughs> grown. <laughs> shit, crazy. I got picked up in a, in a nightclub before by a grown chick, man. And this thing I noticed about grown chicks, grown chicks stare very hard. They stare at you. That's how you know they want your ass. They stare at your ass. <laughs> and they stare so hard, it cut off your conversation. You ever had somebody staring at you so fucking hard you stop talking? <laughs> now, it's my homeboy birthday, right? We chilling in the club, we going hard. We all grew up together, right? I'm in the VIP. This lady at the back bar with her girlfriends, her stare cut off my conversation in the VIP. I'll show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, hey, fellas. Hey, come on, man, let's get a toast real quick, real quick. Hey, happy birthday, dog. you know what I'm saying? We got some Patron, we got some Hennessy. Motherfucker, we going in, yeah, got that Patron. Be careful, be careful. Yeah, so dude, check it out. Uh, tonight's your birthday, man, we gonna get together. <laughs> oh, oh shit, y'all see that lady? <laughs> oh man, that lady keep looking over here, man. Oh shit, that's somebody's mama, man. <laughs> What's up? What's up? What you want? Who, him? <laughs> Who you want to talk to? Me? You want me to come over there? Oh shit. Hey man, yo, hey, yo, that lady want me to come over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all watch me, make sure I get back, okay? <laughs> Fellas, why, why when you talk to a grown woman, you ain't even cool? You ain't even the same dude, you lose all your swag. Why? Why when you walk over there, you are not the same dude? You over there, you like, um, yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, I had just came for him birthday, he my friend. <laughs> uh-huh, yeah, we had went to grade school together. We are all here for a birthday. <laughs> why you talk like that when you talk to Phyllis? You're just nervous. I was rambling so much, she shushed me. I never been shushed before but it was very soothing. <laughs> you ever been shushed before? That shit is crazy. I was like, and his mama and my mama are friends as well. And she was like, shh. And I was like. <laughs> Fellas, if you ever get picked up by a grown chick, all you gotta do is be quiet. They tell you everything you need to know, right? She was like, um, first of all, calm down. Do you know why you're standing here and not your friends? Uh, no, ma'am, I do not. I had just came for him birthday, that's why I did that class. She was like, well, first of all, I've been watching you and your friends for about 20 minutes, and your friends are very silly, so I choose you. So this is how it's gonna go. Whenever we get together, we will enjoy the time and space that we are together. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> I had just came for him birthday. He my friend. <laughs> now, I know I just met you. I don't know if you're married or in a relationship, whatever that is, we're both adults. Handle your situation. When I need you, I will call you. I will ring twice, hang up, that's me. <laughs> now, I am willing to fulfill any sexual fantasy that you may have within reason. 
I hurt my knee in 79. <laughs> yeah, so I can't do everything. But I would like you to do certain things for me as well. I would like you to go certain places with me, you know, business functions, social events, things of that nature. You would need a blue suit. <laughs> blue. Now, when we go out, it's not necessary for you to hold my hand. I'm a grown-ass woman. I don't need a man to have to hold my hand. What I do need you to understand is whenever you and I go out together, you do not have to talk. <laughs> I will speak on your behalf. <laughs> now, are you mature enough at this point in your life to understand a very unique opportunity that I'm presenting to you and only to you tonight in this club? <laughs> I had just came for him birthday. <laughs> I'ma just be real with y'all. I ain't never heard no gangster shit like that in my life. I just said what came to my mind at the time. I was like, can I call my mama real quick? <laughs> How many Oprah fans in here? I love Oprah. I love Oprah, man. Oprah is just one special talent. I still, still look up to Oprah because she's such a positive, successful woman. And uh, I thought about this, fellas. Think about this. Like, Oprah is probably like the most powerful female. Think about it. She's a billionaire, TV show. Now she owns her own network. She can do whatever she wants. Thought about this the other day. Oprah is so powerful. She is the only female in America that could call your crib at three in the morning and your lady understand. Now, I know that's a tough-ass situation for a dude. It's very, very scary because for a man, when your house phone rings past a certain time, you are in a dilemma. <laughs> Matter of fact, it feels like a nightmare. Is it just me? Or does it seem like the phone ringing in HD? Is it just me? <laughs> and fellas, I don't care how asleep you are. You ever notice that phone will wake your ass up? You in a deep sleep, too. <laughs> Somebody trying to set me up. <laughs> I'ma act like I don't even hear that shit. <laughs> what you don't realize, your lady wake up on the first ring and she look right at the fucking clock. <laughs> Who the fuck is calling here at 3.15 in the morning? Answer the fucking phone, you like, You sitting there crying in the dark. What's the problem? Is there a problem you can't answer? Oh no, you just look scary in the dark. <laughs> well, answer the fucking phone. Now, fellas, I don't know if you believe in Jesus, but you will find him in this moment. You're like, Jesus, if you love me, man, please let this be my mama, dog. <laughs> answer the phone. You know you gotta answer it, too. <laughs> Shit. What is taking you? I, I don't know. I don't know. I've never seen your eyes so red. <laughs> are, you a, are you a vampire or a werewolf? What is wrong with you? I swear to God, if you do not answer that phone, I'm gonna put this lampshade through your fucking head. <laughs> please, Jesus, please. <sighs> Hello? Hello, uh, who's calling? Is this Bill Bellamy? Uh, yes, how can I help you? Um, who's calling? This is Oprah Winfrey. Hello, Bill Bellamy. For real? <laughs> yes, Bill. Oh, I'm so sorry, Bill. I know it's late. I'm on Chicago time, but I had to call you. I was thinking about you all day, and uh, let me explain. Today, we were doing some research at the office and looking at different clips from movies, and I told Gail, I saw this clip of you. I said, oh my God, I want me some Bill Bellamy. So this is how it's gonna go. Bill, you're gonna come to Chicago, meet me at my penthouse. I'm really horny. <laughs> it will be worth your... What is wrong? Shh. <laughs> you will come to my penthouse. I will give you something that you will never forget. I promise you I'll have you back in New York tomorrow by 4 o'clock. Trust me, Bill. It will be worth your while. The fuck wrong with you? <laughs> I can't do no shit like that. Shh. 
My plane is right outside your window. <laughs> Shit, what's going on? Now, your lady's standing right next to you. She mad as fuck, because she's trying to figure out who it is. Who is that? Who the fuck you talking to? <laughs> Fellas, you ever been in this situation so crazy, you tell your woman the truth, she don't even believe you? It's Oprah. I know. I know why you look at it, it's crazy, but she just told me on the phone, she said she want me to come to Chicago and put it on her real quick. <laughs> she said she gonna have me back tomorrow by four o'clock. I ain't bullshitting. She looking at you like you crazy. Really? So you think I'm stupid, so you a comedian at 3.15 in the fucking morning? <laughs> so you think, okay, give me, Bill, give me the phone. You play too much, please, just give me, hello, who is this? Right, okay, right, okay, mm-hmm. This is not funny, I am not, it's very, it's very late. Excuse me? Mm-hmm. Oh my God, yes. Girl, you're so stupid, yeah. Uh-huh. Of course. Oh, oh, yeah. You, girl, okay, bye baby. You gonna need a blue suit. Yo, I'm Bill Bellamy, thank you.